hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Sam, always. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like when I was playing. If I was going to a football game or cricket game, like playing school, you could almost hear the other team. Oh, that's Barry Hanson, you know. And so much so that when I boxed, I had a couple of fights at Billy Ricky Amateur Boxing Club. My dad actually changed my name without me knowing, so that I wouldn't get a pasty. What did he change it to? He Hills. <laughs> so when I had my first fight at a gym show in Dagenham, they introduced me in the blue corner from Billy Ricky, Eddie. Hills. I was like, <laughs> but I didn't think anything of it. It's only when I had my next fight, which was at Billericay, they introduced me again as Hills. And I went over to my old man after I said, they keep calling me fucking Hills. He went, son, if they knew you were my son, you'd get an absolute pasty. Yeah. You no, know, because to, to those kids, that's that's why I wouldn't have, you know, one, I didn't have the ability, but two, I could have never made it as a fighter. <laughs> Will Dillian White fight Andy Ruiz? Yeah, Dillian will fight Andy Ruiz when Andy Ruiz is fatty. All the cost polo tops, the dog's nuts, Porky. You betcha. Did Jimmy Tibbs really drop Muhammad Ali in sparring? Well, you'll have to go watch my uh, Jimmy Tibbs interview on my Boxing Royalty Collection on channel and see what you think. And you'll hear Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy tell story about him and Ali. Was Crawford Ashley a chilling puncher? You betcha. Will the David Hay and Derek Chisora marriage last? Uh, yeah, it'll last until until Ch until Chisora's talking like Riddick Bow. <laughs> like that. That's when they'll get divorced, when Chisora's no use to uh, David Hay anymore. Is Chris Eubank Jr. the real deal? You betcha. Did Dennis Hobson do well for Clinton Woods? Uh, yeah, he did, but Clinton also did well for Dennis. So, you know, it's a two-way street. One's in, pun in ring ticket punches, and other one's uh, uh, outside ring... Uh, throwing money about and making moves so it were a good team they worked well together did colin lyons improve under jimmy tibbs and mark tibbs yeah uh, colin lyons were a fantastic fighter did he win an ibo world title i think he did don't quote me on that but you'd have to check that up but yeah i think colin colin lyons and uh did well with mark tibbs and jimmy tibbs they all did well for each other they worked well together was alf roberts a good grocer <laughs> You know that, don't you, Alf? You betcha. Is the Stig hot stuff? Well, I don't know. I don't know in that, uh, with that hamburger meat hanging out, Stig, and uh, that dicky boat on. <laughs> Can Denny Sobson sing? Uh, seen him sing a Sinatra song at Peter Fury's 50th, and Peter Fury were clapping, saying, oh, I didn't know Dennis could sing, he should do gigs. I was like, what? Don't tell him that, Peter. But yeah, he's not hes not bad. He can only sing Sonata ones, though, can't he? Can't he? Fly me to the moon. That's his favourite song. Let me sing a lullaby. I can't sing, though. Does Spencer X rim everybody who gives him a paycheck? Uh, of course he does. 
but he knows a lot of people Spencer Fear and doesn't he a good boxing bloke so he's going to promote whoever's paying him isn't he that's just the name of the game isn't it did David A get knocked out by Carl Thompson he got iced in a fight that he were told not to tech but they wouldn't listen would they him and Adam Booth the Dark Lord should David should David Price retire? No, he shouldn't. He should rematch Dave Allen. Price Allen too. Unfinished business. <laughs> hey? But who cares? As Porky, ever had a not guilty? I've had loads. My last one was cop that. <laughs> Is Lee Froch hard? Harder than a coffin nail. Does Den look a mug in that brown suit that he always wears? Yeah, you look that's muggy that Den. Mickey Mouse. How many teeth has Wilder got? I've heard 32. But if he has got 32 teeth, it's 20 more than I've got. Could Derry Matthews whack like a mule? Class act as well, Derry Matthews. Will Dillian White ever fight Wilder? Yeah, when Wilder's 40. Will Rob Tebber ever crawl out of Shane McGuigan's arsehole? I don't know. He might have to he might have to go have an operation uh, at Claremont in Sheffield. Did those porky billboards do the job, porky? <laughs> not one of my better moves, no, not one of my better moves. Uh, expensive, and uh, I think the Chef United fans ripped one of them down, didn't they? Uh, that uh, got put up when they fought, when they put on, when they fought, sorry, when they played Hull, uh, they got ripped down, didn't it? So. So both of them uh, weren't my best move and total waste of money, fortune as well. Am I glad to see Don King struggling in boxing? Yeah, I am. Murdered two people, uh, got a pardon for one, didn't he? But we know why. Uh, ripped fighters off for years, lined his own pockets. They were accused of fixing fights in that tournament in the 70s and... You know, a proper bully and obviously he's ended up a billionaire, hasn't he? But as regards... <laughs> As regards uh, boxing, I'm glad that he hardly has anything to do with boxing because, like I said, he lined his own pockets and made it about him. A bit like a certain promoter from Essex that was sick of at the moment. Is Mick Whaler pop a proper boxing bloke? You betcha. You can have a fight as well, Mick. Will Joyce versus Debar happen? Yeah, it happens this year, and it's probably the best fight we're looking forward to this year so far, so yeah good luck to him that's a great fight and you've got to give old dinted fish eyes frank warren respect for putting it on so well done why is tesco joe called tesco joe porky uh i don't know probably because he shops at tesco's i don't know I, w w would uh would steve crump be called sainsbury's steve if he shops at sainsbury's i don't know but Joe obviously likes Tesco, doesn't he? So, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what next for John Fury versus Mickey Fio? Where are they going now? Uh, I don't know. Well, they're not fighting, are they? After all that, after all that PR that they've had, and uh, there's been a lot of talking. And there's not been much fighting, has there? All, all John Fury's done is ran off and hit a punch bag. And all Mickey Theo's done is sit in a kebab shop uh, with, his, with his Bentley outside saying he wants to fight bare knuckle, all in, with gloves on uh, and do all sorts. But like I said, the talkers and the smoky bacon walkers. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares about me, Steffi Bull. If you've got a problem though, come see me. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys, 
and South Yorkshire packaging, all right? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.